What's going on guys? Johnny with Blazer Grass Lawn Care and welcome to my lawn care equipment setup. Enjoy. All right guys, I've been getting this question a lot. So I decided to stop at the parking lot and give you guys a quick brief look at my lawn care equipment setup. Now this is a mowing equipment setup, okay? This is not equipment setup that you will take with a whole bunch of crews. This is equipment setup for just two people or one person. Now, this is a lawn mowing maintenance setup. This is not one where you will pick up debris and all that good stuff, enjoy. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna begin with the vehicle itself. It is a 2016 Dodge Ram 1500. My vehicle have a airbag and I'll show you real quick. My airbags. There's one there. And then there's the other one right there. and it all comes around and you can fill them up right here and as of right now i have uh i want to say 27 28 psi so it keeps the vehicle nice and level because the last thing you want is a vehicle that is tilted right with the weight and the more weight you have of course you put more air so that makes it uh, pretty accessible. The size of the cab is a five by six, five feet, six inches. Now I have additional safety lights in the front and also in the rear. And I'll show you guys a few minutes once I get in the cab exactly where the switch is. So once you get into the vehicle, don't worry about the mileage. The mileage is, is not, you know, it's, it's not important. The first thing I want to show you is the switch. This is the switch for the front blinking lights. And this is the second switch for the rear blinking lights. And those are warning lights. And the other two switch is for my two big lights in the front. And I hope you can see those. And for the lights on the top. And as you can see, we can add or take off additional lights if you want to. Now you may say to yourself, why do I have the safety lights in the front of the vehicle and in the back? There have been a lot of issues with my guys working in a high level of traffic area. And next thing you know, vehicles kind of sort of don't see my guys for some reason. So additional precaution is always good, right? All right, let's continue. That's the Savannah bus tour, guys. They, uh, this is where they come and practice. They're backing in and backing out with the new guys. So I do apologize for that little bit of noise. Okay, what else do I have inside my vehicle, guys? Real quick, I have my bottle. And you guys know what this bottle is for, right? There you go. <laughs> no need. I have my... ISO tunes guys, I have to have my, my music when I work. I have my power pack, solar power pack, and that's my, my battery equipment. Let's look at the back here. I have my charger that goes to the power pack. Also have a couple of batteries, and it depends on which piece of equipment I'm using, uh, the batteries that I'm carrying with me. Additional tools, edger blades, pruners, tape measure, gloves. The dry wrap to secure my equipment and I'll show you that. 
oven this side. I have my blower. I have my small battery powered air pump. And I have my hedge trim over there. My boonie hat and all the accessories, okay? All right guys, so this is the mow and go system that I have attached to my truck. And guys, let me tell you, this thing is awesome. All you have to do is install it right here with this screw and it holds itself up, okay? I'll show you guys in a few minutes how I open it and close it back. And if you want additional stability, then you have the additional bars to hold it here. And guys, you don't need this bar. I just have it there for additional stability, but it holds pretty good and I have no issue. And then I have my string right here, which is accessible to me. And this unit, I wanna say is roughly 200 pounds. You can put it on and take it off extremely, extremely fast guys, and just attach the tailgate back and you have your vehicle. This is the mow and go system. And I will have a link in the description to the unit. Now, let me show you guys how easy it is to open it and close it. All right, guys, so let me show you how easy it is to load and unload a piece of machine. All you have to do is come over here and raise this up. Open the other side. Let me bring this back so you can see it. And bring this down. And the whole rack is down. And come up here, move this out the way. Take your motor off. Then you put your motor back on. Now, of course, if you, you tie your mower down from this point right here over to your loops. So as you can tell, guys, let me show you right there. This is a 36 inch mower. It's a 36 inch mower and you have a lot of space you can put a 52 inch mower on this trailer and you can also put a zero current mower on this trailer locking it back is pretty easy in and out and make it extremely, extremely simple to lock your equipment in and secure it. Now let's say for any reason, you want to ensure that no one can actually open this and tuck your equipment out. All you have to do is put a chain and a lock through here and it will secure it, okay? You will secure it for you. Like I said before, this is a five foot, six inch bed and you have 
an additional it looks like a feet of space that you can utilize and they also sell one that is a little bit more extended so you can utilize that one as well okay you have you have an option um, if I didn't mention it you have your turning signals right here okay left and right you can put your tags right here it has a little light and you plug your turn signal right in there all right let's talk about the racks all my racks are from equipment defender racks and i have a code blades 10 blades 10 and i put it in the uh in the description here in a link all my racks are from equipment defender and what i've done guys is i went straight into the bed of the truck and bolted my racks into the bed of the truck because again if i decide to sell the vehicle all i have to do is get a new uh, plastic piece right here and attach onto it and you would ne never know that i actually uh open this up i chose to use the two rack system and it's pretty easy to get to it's not too high where i'm stretching and all that good stuff now the rack are they all lockable um, you can use a key lock or you can use a combination lock um, you know you'll buy the combination lock um, separate and uh, they're, they're, they're very secure very secure I've never had an issue with it um, they lock pretty easy and pretty easy to install also the uh, the blower rack is the same thing um, you lock it right here or you can buy a combination lock and what it does is, is lock this in and you can't open this up so you're and it fits all sizes of blowers you don't have to have that specific one I use a mixed fuel to take with me guys because every day before I leave I ensure that my mowers are full so I don't have an issue when it comes to actually having to stop and get fuel again guys equipment defender racks blaze 10 and um yeah that is about it